Yeah, you're singing at home too. You may <laughs> recognize our next guest as the A in indie pop band AJR. What you might not know is that in addition to creating chart-topping hits and selling out arenas, he also leads a nonprofit organization working to combat climate change. Adam Met tours the globe playing concerts with his brothers, Jack and Ryan, AJR. Mm -hmm. And in between shows and studio sessions, he's also found time to get his PhD in human rights and law, human rights law and sustainable development. He's a busy guy, but he found time here to join us in studio yeah. this morning before your show at the X tonight. Uh, so Adam, thank you so much for joining us. You Welcome. Said you're hot into the Twin Cities after your show in Des Moines last night. Yes, the show was great last night, but really happy to be here. Minneapolis is a is a big, big city for us. Well, we're glad to have you here. Uh, let's talk about how it's been going so far, right. what you've got going on today. Today is, is a big one. I'm excited to start my day here with you, and then I'm heading over to the University of Minnesota to actually give a lecture on climate cool. policy. Okay. Yep, and then tonight we are playing at the X. Our opener is Dean Lewis, but the tour has been amazing. It's our largest tour to date. Uh, we are playing 49 cities in the oh, U.S., wow. arenas everywhere. Wow. And to be able to play arenas, that's the dream of any artist. So to, for us to be able to go out and do that and play it in so many cities across the country, we're so excited. You were telling us from street performers in New York yeah. to now playing arenas. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been a very slow, slow explosion. Um, so many people think that bands explode overnight, and yeah. some do, but it really took us playing for one fan, and then five fans, and then ten fans to get to where we are today. And now you'll be at the X tonight. It's, it's one of our biggest concert venues in town. So I can't wait. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. you. When you've been traveling the country, too, you are also um, talking about climate change. You're also talking about your advocacy work, Planet Reimagined. So explain that to us. So Planet Reimagined is an organization I started about five years ago, and it really is meant to bridge the idea of thought and action. So many people are thinking about these issues, doing research, but they have a hard time translating it into what can I do in my day-to-day -day life? How can I make a real impact? So what we do is make the connection between those two. And then your fans, I would think that there are many fans who are wondering more about what you're all about, and then that obviously you're trying to get your platform out there so you can talk about climate change to your, your fans and get them on board. Exactly, and one of the big things that we spent the last year and a half or so doing is this study called Amplify. If you think about it, switching from plastic straws to paper straws, that's not gonna have the biggest impact. At a venue, there are so many fans who really wanna make a difference. 250 million people attend concerts every single year in the US, and if we can activate those people, that's the whole ball game. And when I say activate, it's really taking civic and political action. It's not the small actions in your day-to-day -day life, it's how you can vote for the people that are gonna make real climate change. And one of the most interesting things we found is in this study is that 73% of fans that attend concerts, and we're talking about Taylor Swift fans, Beyonce fans, really really across the board, they care about climate change and want to be doing more. It's the majority of the U.S. that are really already on board, and we're going to take that baseline and now kick it up a notch at all of these concerts on our tour. Sure, how to get those people involved and make some exactly. of those changes. What I love about you too, Adam, is you go and you like rock it out on stage with mm. your brothers, but you also have this PhD <laughs> and are doing this research and spreading this word. I think it's really cool. I have... To, I have a very strange brain, but I feel like I need to <laughs> exercise both sides of it, the left side and the right side. Mm -hmm. But I did study business undergrad, and I used all of that in helping to build AJR. So I feel like I need to do both at the same time. Very good. Well, the brothers are still going strong. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and the best of luck with the show tonight. And enjoy your time in, in Minnesota. Thank you for having me. Yep. Yeah, we're pleasure. grateful for all parts of your brain firing, <laughs> bringing us good music and good awareness. And I got to tell you, when the song first came out, bang, I would substitute metronome for metrodome because we had the metrodome oh, here. So metrodome. I would, and my girls were going, hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Metrodome. Yeah, so the guy who says that is the guy who makes the announcements on the New York City subway. Is that right? Yeah, very Because cool. I asked him that in kind the, in the commercial yeah. break. Yeah. I love yeah. that. A famous voice. Adam, Adam, thanks for being here. Thank, thank you. you. And